Hello, hello, hello. Uh, hello. Hello. Guess this who I am? Viola. Guess who you are? Trump. That's right. <laughs> yeah, this is She Don't Play. <laughs> yeah, got it. And this is Final Fantasy 2 slash 4. Um, previously, uh, Steve Eiserman, captain of the Detroit Red Wings, uh, <laughs> burned an entire town and kidnapped a, a girl. This is our hero. <laughs> wow. She must rest. Wow. Yes. Heroes, so, huh? Yeah, right. I know. Am I, am I right? I'm reading a lot of ancient history, and let me tell you, heroes... Not all they're cracked up to be. <laughs> no, they're kind of horrible, aren't they? Yeah, I mean, it's kind of, just a lot, of, a lot of stabbing going on. Very stabby. It's pretty stabby. <laughs> welcome. If, oh, they had, the if they had had guns, it would have been very shooting. Oh, yes. oh, welcome. Take her to the room. Hurry up, money. No, that's okay. Go ahead. This would never happen. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, so, oh, 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 Take her to the room. Take her to the room. Put her in the bed. Put her in the bed. Nothing weird going on here. You okay? Dot, 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 dot. I haven't heard your name yet. Dot, 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 dot. I know. I have done an awful thing. I can't ask for your forgiveness. But at least let me protect you. Please. Dot, 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 She's dot. like, I'm not talking to this weirdo. Yeah, right. I'm just going to sleep next to you in full body armor. She's looking at him like, uh, oh, my God. Who the fuck is this clown? <laughs> Who does he think he is? This this act, this act, situation had a profound... And, or, uh, yeah, anyway, this this play is great. I finally found you, Yeiserman. Uh, His Majesty decided that the colors of mist are too dangerous to be left alive. What? Hand her over. No. Oh, shit, it's some protection going on here. Oh, shit. Uh, this one? He's so tiny. I know. That, that's, that's, uh, you actually hit upon a thing that, uh, my best friend used to complain about these games to me. <laughs> How, like, the uh, what you see in the overworld isn't what you see in these little battle window things. Yeah. But, uh, you know, you just, like, I, like I've said before, you just gotta kind of use your imagination. But comparably, your hero is so tiny. I know. And that, that all, I feel like that adds to it. I, I also just realized I look, look a lot like the Phantom of the Paradise. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Which I never really, never really picked up on that before. It's, I mean, I didn't know what Phantom of the Paradise was when I was seven or whatever. Eight or nine. Whatever. Anywho. I, she's still asleep, huh? Uh, she's pretending to sleep. She's like, oh, doctor. Did I get you in trouble? I'm sorry. You killed everyone I ever met. It's for me to apologize. Well, I know you can't forgive me, but my wife is dead. But you protected me, sort of. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> I'm Rydia. Pretty cool. Call Aridia joined. I often wonder if it's actually Lydia, and they just pronounce it Rydia in J Japan. Hmm. Rydia. Anyway. <laughs> huh. Hmm. Yes. Well, anyway. She looks I gotta... like a troll. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I wonder if she's got. Let's go. Wonder... You know, she looks like Poppy. Sure. Okay. Only green. And is that a horn? I can never. I was never clear on that. Or is that like a bang? A the hair thing that she's got. Anywho. I don't know. Oops. Can't tell. Uh, but, but, but she does look like a troll. Yeah, a little trolly. She's She looks like an elfish girl. Yeah. Anyway, she's 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 hanging around lately. <laughs> hanging so, around me right I've now. I've been reading Ooh. some CIA documentation. Yeah, you have. So you've been reading this about CIA mind control. Not mind They're, control, uh, no. The transcending time and space stuff. It's a. Uh, it's along the lines of transcendental meditation. Okay. Basically, um, stinking up both hemispheres of the brain. Stinking. St sinking them up, <laughs> but they're using binaural audio uh -huh. to do it, and you know about bi binaural beats and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you, it sinks your. So what they're doing, the CID, CIA did this. They sync up the right and left <laughs> hemisphere of the brain. Go on. To a particular hertz, mm -hmm. which is in sync with the basic cyclical vibrations of the planet, basically. Mm -hmm. And then if they can get several people on that same wavelength, yeah, then it, it becomes very one mind-like. This reminds me of... Um... Who's who's Abby Hoffman? This this sounds very Abby Hoffman-y. Why is that? 
Well, didn't he do a thing where he, he like had a bunch of hippies hold hands and, and and circle the Pentagon and tried to like make the Pentagon float with his mind? I I don't know about that stuff. <laughs> but uh, so there's like they they were experimenting with stuff like remote viewing where mm-hmm. they'd have somebody an operative in a different country mm-hmm. like watching another operative oh. from a distance a mentally. Hold on, hold that thought. Okay, Rosa's here. Oh, Rosa. Rosa! Drama. Rosa, the fuck you doing here? Dot, dot, dot. Mm. Iserman. Don't leave me, Iserman. I, th- I think I might change these names. <laughs> dot, mm. Iserman, don't leave me, Iserman. She's fine. She's fine. We need sand ruby to cure the fever, but it is in the lair of the monster called Antlion. Antlion? A- Antlion. I wonder what kind of creature he's a combination of. An ant and a lion, of course. <laughs> you you you're really one, have to wonder? You are one step ahead of this game. <laughs> Made for children. <laughs> anyway. Um, it's kind of like reading Stephen King, where you're like, the character, like, are these characters going to put oh, yeah. two and two together? We, 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 st- we started the stand. <laughs> like, yeah. like, when are they going to, like, when are they going to put the pieces together and it's realize that... It's a plague. <laughs> that they're... Yeah. 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 It's not a cold, man. Yeah. It's not a cold. There's no doctor who's going to help you out here. Anyway. Uh, yeah. Welcome to the Kai Brother Dimes. And that was created by the government, yes? Uh, yeah. Yeah. There are a couple of Stephen King books where the government... Government people are the bad guys. Mm. Uh, did you ever see the movie The Fury? It's kind of a mm-hmm. King esque. I wonder if you wrote the script for that. But anyway, it's kind of about. Well, anyway, anyway they used a scientific yeah. method on the CIA stuff. Yes. And um, they had some instances where the remote viewing thing worked, where they could pinpoint locations and stuff mm-hmm. of one person through another person mm-hmm. by basically syncing up their brains. Cool. And, uh, and you know I uh, I try to ping you every once in a while that way. I tried to ping you today. I know, but I, I was too distractified. You were a little distracted. My brain, like my brain today, was not in sync with no. anything. No, oh my god. Was it? <laughs> was it ninety-eight degrees? <laughs> What? Oh, I made that joke before. I'm sorry. You said you said my brain was not in sync, and I said it's at <laughs> oh, 98 degrees. Oh, boy bands, yeah. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, yeah. Hey, you want to watch us let you dance? Sure. I want to go to damn scene to be a dancer. Watch me dance. <laughs> wow. Scandalous. I remember this part. <laughs> oh, this sounds silly. <laughs> <laughs> Yep. Okay, great. That, that was that was nice. That was that was great. Um, uh, did, did I talk to you again? <laughs> oh God, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I ex- I thought she'd be. I thought if I talked to her again, she'd be like, "That was cool, huh?" But she's like, "Watch me dance." Oh boy. Can you tell I remember this annoying part from when I was a kid? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I'm never gonna talk to her again. <laughs> okay, bye. <laughs> okay, bye. Uh, okay, bye. What am I meant to do now? Okay, bye. Oh, yeah, go to the sand ruby. You, you gotta find up. the ant lion. I gotta get the scene ruby. Also, someone <laughs> mentioned that, um, yeah, there there's some characters that they mentioned that we'll meet in a minute. Anywho, however, so what other than... These dudos. Sandman. Oh. The Sandman's testify. Why, wow, that's not what I imagined the Sandman to look like. No. Well, you also find... I feel like in this game they're only it's kind of like dragon warrior in that they're only a few designs mm. so i think these creatures are going to be undersea creatures later on yeah they look more like sea creatures yes but th- some of the enemies that you'll find in this game have like crazy ass designs that uh, i can't wait to show you and there's a lot of like mythological mythological references oh your stuff. little friend is yay. happy yeah we do a little victory dance and they do little boo. Where is she when you're walking around? Is she in your pocket? Uh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> I think there might be a way I can change who's walking around. Imps. I remember these guys. Um, imps. Yes, imps. That's also not what I thought an imp would look like. No, it's more of a goblin, really. Yeah. 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 
I like their little dirks. <laughs> <laughs> Dirk Diggler. They have dirks. <laughs> nice That's dirk. a funny word. <laughs> dirk. Dirk. <clears throat> um, I'm watching this. I'm watching uh, a sh- Chinese show about the Warring States period in China. And there's this <clears throat> part where they're right <laughs> this lady is writing a message to the king and it's not it's it's dubbed it's like i can only find a dubbed version no subtitles and i don't think the dubbing is all that great because i was at this one part where she's like i've written <laughs> she, she's writing this message she's like i've written it in code so no one can understand it and uh <laughs> the guy the guy the guy who uh, opens it up and he's like it's written in code and i'm sitting there going yeah that's why you can't understand it he's like i can't understand it <laughs> anyway it was a fun time it was it was so great look Riddy is distressed because she only has eight hp she learned sight though that's useful anyway come here often <laughs> So back to the CIA. <laughs> yes, please, for the love of God. Well, anyway, I know from my own studies, and not all of this stuff has been known for like 4,000 years, like how to do this shit. Yeah. yeah, it's like the cell phones before cell phones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. we've talked about that before. We have. Um, it's one of our obsessions is tilapathy. But, <laughs> um, one of my obsessions is tilapia fish. Tilapia fish. <laughs> Watery pass. <laughs> yeah. But the best way to get into the right, um, well, get into the zone so that you can sync the two sides of your brain, mm-hmm. is to get in between waking and sleep. Okay. There's, so is that what a, meditation is? There's another. There's another space in between waking and sleep. Okay. It's a brain. It's a brain state. If you can stay right there, usually it drops you into sleep because mm. if your body's tired, you just go there. But, but if you are can remain alert enough to stay right in between mm-hmm. then your brain is in the right place to to sync up to that I think it's 7 hertz or something oh. cool yeah but also um, chanting certain passages from the Vedas mm-hmm. does the same thing I've sometimes felt that way while jogging if I get that nice runner's high mm-hmm. do you do you feel like it's the sinking between the hemispheres of the brain going on there, or? Uh, I don't know. I just, I just know. I just know it. It definitely like puts me in a state where it's like, I, uh, I've I used to run a lot, and uh, I sometimes reach a state where it's like, I'd suddenly look around and <laughs> forget, not, not know where I was, just because I was like, mm-hmm. in such a zone of running. It also helped that I get stoned beforehand, um, which I recommend. And listen to uh, shit. <laughs> but if you become well trained enough in this stuff, yes, then you. I love Supreme. Sorry. You can transcend space time, basically. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Um, which Been there. means that. you can see things in other places, but also in other times. Oh, yeah. Which is uh, how I used to. Ah oh, shit! Freddy is dead. Well. Time travel. Uh yeah. But we won't get into that. No, you won't. But don't, don't people want to hear about your... My time travel? Yeah. Most people will think it's bullshit. No. I don't know if I should bother, because most people think it's bullshit. <sighs> most people are losers. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, well, why Why do I... Why? Oh, is she dead? Yeah, we did. But I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go back into town and heal her, probably. She died? Uh, but I can bring her back to life, because it's that kind of game. Mm-hmm. Oops. Oh, uh, shit. Might take a little while, though. Um, yeah, like, I don't know. Sometimes I just don't want to bother talking about this stuff. Because then they're like, oh, she's that crazy, loony, new age girl. And don't, don't, yeah, but you don't care what other people think, right? No, I don't. But also, I don't want to, you know, like. Give them ammo. Th- not that, like. It's not like giving them ammo. How would I put this? I don't want to expend the energy on just being disregarded. Right. <laughs> you, you know what, what I mean? Ain't nobody got time for that. Yeah. Do you ever feel like I'm dismissing you? No, actually. Okay, I don't. You actually at least try to take some I of the try, things I, I try, say very seriously. I try my darndest. <laughs> <laughs> and sometimes I 
you know, reciprocate like I tried to ping you today. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And uh, and then I bought sushi. Oh, thank you. <laughs> that was delicious. I was like, I need mothering. Fix me food. And you're like, how about if I order sushi? So I don't have to cook. <laughs> cooking intimidates me. Although I want to learn how to cook, for sure. I'm getting much better at, at saying, hey, I need... Need. Good. I need this. I need food. You Fix do. me every, food. Every, you know, everyone needs food. Yeah. That's what they say. And that was really cute on TikTok. The girl, there's a girl, she's a submissive. Yes, okay. Yar. And uh, there's a girl on there, she's like, the things my boyfriend won't let me do. And she was talking about how he won't let her get a tattoo or a piercing or whatever. And uh, so this submissive girl replies. And she said, things that, I'm, I'm in a DS relationship and I'm a submissive. And things these are things that my master won't let me do. He won't let me go a day without eating or drinking <laughs> water. Uh-huh. <laughs> and if I have sex with someone else, he wants me to tell him. And that's it? Yeah. That's awesome. <laughs> and I was like, <laughs> and she's like, so, you know, I hope you dump this guy. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like a real winner, my friends. Yeah. I've, man, I've tried to be like a controlling douchebag in a relationship. I'm not proud of this, by the way. And it is exhausting. I don't know how people do it. Well, tell me about this. You've tried to be a controlling douchebag? No. Well, you it's just not, said that. what I just said. Yeah. I don't like to talk about these horrible things but, I've done in my life. But I'd like to know. Uh huh. Well, I mean, I mean, I don't know. what you've learned from the experience. I mean, I guess. I, I think I just told you being a controlling douchebag is exhausting. What's the what's the uh, motivation behind it? I don't know. Like what what are you trying to Ugh. get? What are you trying to <laughs> this achieve? Is why, this is why I don't like to bring it up because it's like I don't know. I was an idiot. <laughs> I was just <laughs> I was just stupid. I was just a stupid boy. Yeah, oh, but, it's tell it. Hold on. It, Can we tell it the stage? Okay. We can't. Do we have to talk about what, how much of a loser I am? No, I just want to know. Like, I, I want to try to understand the mind of a young man okay. who does that. Fair enough. Um. I guess it's like trying to fulfill your fantasies versus just try, just being happy in the reality that you're presented with, I guess. I don't know. It's, uh, I guess. I, guess I, I, I don't know. I don't know. Is, oh my god, I'm a toad. <laughs> what happened? He turned me into a toad. Uh-oh. What you do? Yeah, how do I, how do I get back to this? You turn side. into toad. I like these guys though. They're pretty interesting. Yeah, I'm gonna freeze them. Nice colors. Mhm. Mm nice tongues. Yeah. Brr. Well, hopefully I have some sort of thing that will heal this. Like heal. Let's see. Are you still a toad? <laughs> I'm a toad. Look you're, at me. You're still a toad. Rabbit. You turned me into a newt. Uh, heals conditions. Okay. Hopefully this works. Yeah, I'm back, baby. There you go. I'm no longer a toad. You are no longer a toad. I didn't. Uh, and here's Tell of the Sage. What's up? Oh, god damn it. I'm trying to be a new character here, folks. Anyway, now that you know so, I'm a monster. <laughs> so, no, so basically, so women are like two dimensional characters course, yes. in your story. Mm, sure. And you're trying to make them conform to that. I guess. I don't know. I'm scared. <laughs> <laughs> no, this is your pet. It's the past. It's in the past. Yeah, it's in the past. It's great uh, if you can confront that and say, "Look, I was just an ass and stupid." Mm -hmm. And ouch, Rydia. Uh, yeah. I think most men and women could have situations where they have been stupid. Sure. I hope so. Jealous. And I hope I'm not the only one. Do you think I'm the only? Do you think I was once the only stupid person in the world? No. It feels that way sometimes. No. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I feel a little better now. That was because it stresses me out when you put me on the spot like that. But it's okay. I'm I'm fine. I'm a okay. It shows a, a maturity to be able to look at it. <clears throat> I'm very mature. What? You wield the dark sword? <laughs> Help me! I beg you. What? A wicked bard tricked my daughter into running away to Damsion, and I sense evil in that direction, that Damsion. I don't know how to pronounce that, but whatever. You must be the sage Tella, 
I am Tella. I am going to Damsian to get my daughter who eloped. But a huge monster is blocking the way. My magic is not strong enough to defeat it. Your dark sword might help. And this girl is a caller? She is quite gifted, I sense. We are also on our way to Damsian. Good. Let us work together to get to Damsian. Let's hurry. Sage Tella joined. <laughs> Trying to cock block his daughter. <laughs> <laughs> Anywho, what else can I tell you about myself? I <laughs> so you've got a crew, but you can only see, you can oh, only yeah. see you. Yeah. Well, I think maybe there's a way. Hold on. Once there was a way. Yep. No. No. Oh yes, I can switch. Who's out in front? Mm -hmm. Any any preferences? Wow, that's yeah. just like VID. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like they're all in there. Yeah. You just pick who's out in front. Oops. And I think, yes, I can change the order that I have people in. Oh, I can change this stuff. Let's make this, let's, oops. Let's pick up the pace, battle speed, and sure. Uh, any, do you want to change the color window at all? Or do you care? Okay, no one cares. Um, form, I want the shape to, oops. No, I want the opposite of that. Sorry, folks. I know this is exciting. There we go. I want Riddy in the back, where she's protected like a little girl. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> yeah, that's all in the past. I'm a much uh, much more sophisticated, horrible person now. So I, just, I watched this video on the femi uh, feminine gaze. Did you say summoning gaze? Feminine. Oh. The feminine gaze as opposed to the male gaze. Sure, sure. And like how it's different and how it's not really it's not really connected to genitals. It's it's more about like the feminine characters being able to voice what they want. Mm-hmm. Like not just being the not just being the objects, but being subjects. I see. Okay. In the story. And Like, that doesn't mean they can't be, like, desired by mm -hmm. the male characters or other characters, but just that, that their wants and their desires are out front. Okay. Which is interesting. And that, so uh, she was, of course, looking at the, um, the anti-heroine. The anti-heroine. The anti-heroine, uh, Harley Quinn. Oh, okay. In Birds of Prey, which I really liked Birds of Prey. I like Birds of Prey a lot, too. I like the, the fun gun. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, and I actually want to see, even though I'm not really that interested in watching any of the uh, DC Universe movies, I really want to watch The Suicide Squad, because I, I do like James Gunn. Well, having watched this video, I now want to watch The Virgin Suicides, because I've never watched it. Really? You don't and, see it? And apparently it was written by a guy. Yeah, I don't transformed, like that movie. <laughs> it's transformed into the feminine gaze uh -huh. by sent, like making the girls more central to the story. What the girls are thinking more central to right, the story. Right, right, right. Well, I don't know. Maybe maybe I'll give them a shot. But, um, yeah, I've, I, I heard people groan about it, but I want to see it now. I, okay. Like, I actually put off seeing it because people's reaction to it, but now I'm like, huh, I'm kind of curious. But... Wouldn't you rather watch uh, the the 2019 remake of Aladdin? No, no. <laughs> but the, the feminine gaze is one, not just putting females in masculine hero roles. Uh huh. And it's and two, it's like, am I boring you? No, um, no. Okay, um, <laughs> just checking. <Jeez. laughs> Because you sighed. I just wondered if I was boring. I, I sighed because what I said wasn't very funny. <laughs> when I said I thought you wanted to watch Aladdin, I was like, that was stupid. <laughs> so no, it's you're not boring me. I'm just disgusted with myself. <laughs> okay. Well, the second thing is not just objectifying the male characters either. Okay. Not just changing, not just flipping it around so that they're the object either. Mm -hmm. Like they can still have desires too, but the feminine gaze turns it back on the audience to it, it feminizes the audience okay because you're identifying with what the feminine character wants okay rather than you're identifying with what the masculine character wants i see feminizing there's a, the audience there's a there's a 
movie I also want to see called I think it's Super Mike XXL or something. Oh, like, like Magic Mike? Magic XXL? The it? male stripper movie? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I I've not seen it, and I'd, I'd be okay with watching that. Yeah, yeah. it looked really we cute. We got a lot of movies to, to watch. Hey. But there's a scene where the two guys are in the car, and he's like, he's like, nobody really bothers to ask women what they want. We could be healers. Yeah, we could be healers. <laughs> this is Magic Mike. Yeah. yeah. That's funny. Yeah, I want to see it. Yeah. Uh, how do I? What do I? How do I? What do I? Is this where I am meant to go? Oh. Oh. I found a secret area. Whoa! A thousand gold pieces. Uh, it's going to be a hot town in the old... I, I think town, that I understand town. why the whole gender subject gender studies subject yeah huh? <laughs> it's uncomfortable for some people because they really don't want to look at this stuff and they so they just try to say like it's not real mm-hmm because they don't want to examine it because it gets kind of rocky it gets icky <laughs> it gets icky and rocky yeah and it can make you feel kind of funked out sometimes funked out funked out <laughs> <laughs> I like that feel a little funked out yeah this is a long cave, I just realized. <clears throat> I might have to uh, make this into a two-parter. Anyway, there's a lot of... But anyway, I'm having a good time discussing stuff with you. Yeah. Yeah, I like you. So, so now I have, to, I have to try and figure out how to not think that all men hate women now. Right. Except we obviously do. <laughs> well, quite a lot. Yeah, quite a lot do. Yeah. Uh, and not, Sorry, and they say. think they. It's the weird thing. The weird, bizarre, perverse thing is that they think they love women. Mm. <laughs> That's why they lose their minds and start shooting everyone, like that one douchebag did. Mm-hmm. Speaking of, well, I don't know. It, it's a little. Over, we live in Boulder, Colorado, and it's a little over a week since uh, we had our oh, own yeah. mass shooting. Here. We had a mass shooting. Yeah. Yes, and in a grocery store, which is a place that I work at. And apparently, um, someone on. Next door, which is a website for like neighborhoods, mm-hmm. was saying that a friend of theirs had talked to the shooter really? two weeks before, and he had already planned it. Thanks. And they went to the police, uh-huh. and the police did nothing. Oh boy. That's awkward. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, awkward's the word I'd use. Guys telling <laughs> you, yeah, I think I'm going to go shoot this, these people up. And you go, uh, Officer, hello? Hello? this guy's talking about shooting people up. This is Colorado. Maybe we should take this seriously. Right. You'd They're think. like, meh. Meh. You know, I was going to say something. I was going to say a stereotype. What? <clears throat> so i got to finish this crawler. <laughs> <laughs> I like cop jokes. <laughs> well, that's a relief. I guess we don't have many cop friends, do we? <laughs> no. Okay. <laughs> uh, you can make fun of cops all you want. I don't care. Okay. I like cop jokes. That's my prejudice. I have a, I have a <laughs> severe have prejudice. A, you have a bit of a prejudice. Against police officers. Well, you have a, I mean, you have a reason to. Uh. <laughs> this cop pulled up next to me. Uh-huh. I was at a stoplight with uh-huh. my daughter. Oh, and yeah. yeah. this cop pulls up next to me, and he's like, ma'am, ma'am. And he's like shouting through my window. So I roll my window down. I'm like, yeah. He's like... I'm on my way to another call, but you were going 31 and a 25 back there. 31 and a 25. I was like, holy shit. Wow. Uh, <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> I was going real fast, huh? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I was like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, that could get real expensive. And what did your daughter say? <laughs> she said... Oh god, yeah. She goes. See, he was nice. Yeah. So you said she said. She said see, not see, all cops are bad. Not all cops are. Some cops can be nice. And you're, and you're like. My eyes roll <laughs> could be heard <laughs> miles I'm sure. away. I'm sure. <sighs> cops. Yeah. It's but fun. I like how my daughter doesn't just listen to mama. Oh, yeah. Mama's prejudices. She, she's definitely. She's like, like look. Own. You know, he can be nice. It's all right. They can yeah. be okay. They can be nice. How much of you of that is? Do you think it's like my thing, where I sometimes like to balance me balance out? Balance me, balance you out. Which yeah, maybe. Yeah. Maybe that's true. Maybe I'm just too um, confident in what I say. Like I'm too like 
strong in my words. Mm. And so the knee jerk reaction is to like tamp that down, mm -hmm. to temper it. Okay. Um, Interesting. Because I'll be like, I fucking hate cops. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, whoa. She's Mom. like, what's going on with mom what is this prejudice all about like anytime you say you hate anybody on a general yeah that's true in a generalization well, she'll be lucky. like wait a minute that's oh, a generalization wow. mom yeah which is a smart girl mm -hmm. oh, she's 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 pretty smart i have to like <laughs> some i think i feel like the thing i've i've said to her most is like don't be so pedantic <laughs> you know it's like she's very like concerned about if you've said the right thing. Right. Yeah. Yeah. She doesn't like cursing. That's true, too. And I had a whole thing about it with her today, because she's... <clears throat> Never mind. <laughs> um, yeah. She won't get on your case if you curse. It's true. I think we might... Uh, We're at 30 minutes. Yeah. But I, I think I'm sort of close to the antlion. Okay. See if we can get there without. Wait, we haven't found the outline. Yet? I know this. Like I said, this just these like weird long. little sea creature looking things. Right, can I run? How do I run? Ah, crap. Okay. What have I done? I'm stuck. Why can't I move? Oh god. Jeez, I'm like really stuck. Did they freeze you? Yeah. Uh, let's end the episode here, and I'll try to figure out what the hell's going on. Okay. And, Are we gonna uh, come back to it? Yes. 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 Okay. All right. Love Bye. you. Say something. If you've come this far, then say something. Say something before I die. All right, love you, bye. Love you, bye bye. Do 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 do